Hi everyone, welcome back to Encounter Encouragement. I think tonight I want to talk about the face you see. The face you see? What are you talking oh. about? Well, the face you see in the mirror. Because the question I have is, is that really the person that other people see? Or are you pretending to be something that you're not? So, let's get started. When you look at me, you see this, that, or the other, right? You make a, a judgment about who I am based on what you see. And that's fine, because we all do that. We all look at someone and decide based on whether they're smiling or not. Are they happy? Are they not happy? Are they angry? Or are they just sad? So, we make snap judgments like that, as an automatic, it's a normal response to seeing something. We instantly make thousands of little micro decisions based on what we see. What we've experienced in the past helps us to determine what we see right now. So, when you look at me, you've made judgments. And I'm not, I'm not angry about that. That's fine. The point is... You've made up your mind who I am, what I am. Now, let's say that you and I are friends, co-workers, acquaintances, whatever you want to call it. And you decide that I'm not good, I'm bad, I talk behind your back, whatever it is that you don't like about me. So you tell others. So you tell them that talk too much. You tell them that I, I joke around when I should be serious. You tell them that I don't know what I'm talking about and I don't belong in the job that I have. All these different things that you decide that you have learned about me. Now, let's turn around and look in the mirror. What does that make you when you discuss me to somebody else like that? What does that make you? Look at the face that you see. Is that the face that you want to be? Is it the face you want other people to see? Because what you discuss in the way you talk about me gives others a snap judgment about who they see in you. So, before we talk about someone, we need to think, what visual am I trying to portray here? Who do you see and who do I want you to see? We have to think about what type of person it makes me when I talk about you. Instead of talking negative things about you, wouldn't it make me look better if I said nice things about you? That you are always so perfect in your jewelry and I love the haircut on you because it's so becoming, just perfect for you. You are always well-spoken and you speak to others so politely and you listen when they talk to you. These are qualities about you that are so fabulous, and I just love that about you. You've suddenly changed your mind about who I am because of the way I talk about you or about somebody else. So we have to think and realize what we put out is a reflection of what we are on the inside. If I want to talk negative about you all day long, doesn't that reflect negatively on me? But if I want to compliment everyone I see and find the good in everyone that I see, doesn't that shine brightly on me as well? So think, who is that face looking back at me? Who is the face that other people see? What persona am I portraying? Think 
think about it. I challenge you this week to think about who you are and are you putting your best face forward? I challenge you to think about what you say about people and wonder before you say it, how does that look on me? Do I want people to think that of me? I bet that if you really do that, and if I really do that, trust me, I'm not perfect at this by far. I can tell you that right now. But it doesn't mean that I can't try. It doesn't mean that I don't want to put a better face forward. But I can promise you that if we all do that, we will put a better face forward. People will see us in a better light and we will automatically see other people in a better light as well. It certainly makes the world go a lot smoother when we can get along and see the good in people instead of focusing on the negative all the time. So, I hope this gives you a new little insight and for me as well, into how to see other people in a better light and how to put my best face forward. Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. I look forward to talking to you again soon, and until then, be blessed, everyone.